You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new guest for Greater Brockton who you used to see on TV all the time at school committee, Ray Hennigsen. Ray, Hi. welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you. You are doing your good deed again at the end of the summer. You've done this for a number of years, and what you're trying to do is put together school supplies for people that can't go to the back-to-school sales and buy all that stuff to put in their backpack or that the teachers haven't already dug in their pocket to buy for the kids. Right? Correct. Correct. So, you know, this is my fourth year doing this. Um, I actually started this because I have teachers in my family and I know how much money the teachers put in on an annual basis, over $1,000 a teacher, you know, sometimes even more, um, into their own classrooms. Um, and they've been doing this for, for, for decades and decades. It's not something new. Um, but I decided that, you know, four years ago it would be a, a beneficial to try to help out the, the kids as well as the teachers. So I've been launching a school supply drive. We've been able to handle, you know, two to three to four schools depending on the year and depending on the number of donations I get, where, and primarily grade schools. And, you know, I essentially collect the school supplies till the end of August. And then I donate them second week of September to the school to be determined. And then I let the administration make that determination how they distribute those school supplies to the teachers and to the children that need them. Now, you've seen a lot of uh, different people are kind of jumping on board nowadays and, and doing other supply drives. I saw that uh, school committee member ASAC uh, did something with cradles to crayons recently. Yes. What are you looking for for the supplies? And you make it real easy. They can literally drop it off on your front porch. They drop it right off my front porch. I mean, I live on 305 Bel Air Street in Brockton. So they can literally drop it off on my porch. There's always somebody at home. Um, or they can call me or email me and, and, and get in touch with me. They can PM me on Facebook, et cetera, and I'll come pick it up if it's, if it's large enough. And I make it pretty easy. And the reason I do it in the end of July, August, is because that's when all the sales start, and it's really, really cheap and inexpensive for somebody to give. Even a $5 donation goes incredibly a long way. Uh, crayons, for example, are uh, 50 cents for a pack of Crayola crayons, mm -hmm. and in October those same crayons were $1.50. Mm -hmm. um, so the sales are, are a big help to be able to get as many supplies as you can. And if you're a business, like we are, even a nonprofit, you buy office supplies all the time and you get a coupon or a yeah. special, you know, just throw a couple of things into the mix to, to go along with it. I mean, I've seen notebooks at Staples, you know, for five cents a piece. Yeah. Um, does the local... Um, company, the Brockton company, does WB Mason do anything with this, do you know? Currently, uh, I haven't had um, reached out, uh, I reached out a couple years ago to WB Mason, they assisted me a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, primarily, I keep it local with individuals, I haven't had a lot of businesses. So you can just go to the to go to one of the stores, buy it, and drop it off. So you said yep. 305 Bel Air Street, you mentioned your phone number, but give it to us. Yeah. 208 yeah. Six seven four seven. And that's my cell phone number. Well, that's my number now. Nobody I don't know who has a landline anymore, And anybody so. that knows you knows that you love Facebook. So yeah. all I'm they gotta do Facebook. is send you a message and you've put up pictures on your Facebook about the different donations that people draw. I think your mother yes. donated to the Yeah, my mother gave so. twenty dollars worth of school supplies. Hey. And and it's a it's a lot. I mean, twenty dollars really can make a big difference. So what type what are the I mean it's it's everything. It's you said crayons, crayons, pencils. pencils. Pencils, pens, markers, erasers, those little pink erasers, um, composition books, notebooks, file folders, highlighters, colored pencils, markers, generally anything that you would see in, a, in an art room uh, for a kid, paint, uh, paint yeah. um, a anything is, is used because uh, we have art classes, we have all different types of classes. So. You know, they'll, the product will get used no matter what. Now, you just picked up a partner. You've got uh, the good old Texas Roadhouse up at the mall. They're going to work with you. Tell us they about that. They are. So the Texas Roadhouse contacted me and said that they would love to work with me on this. They want to get more involved with the community as much as they can. Um, so they, we sat down, we met, and on Wednesday the 17th and Thursday the 18th of August, if you come into Texas Roadhouse at any time during that day or night, uh, with uh, the bundles that are listed here on, on the paper, which is also I have um, listed on my Facebook page. They basically give you a, a coupon for a free appetizer. 
Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great way to, to get out, share some time with your family, enjoy a nice night out. Um, Wednesday, uh, as a matter of fact, if you get there before 6, I believe they have a, a, a big special, like a sirloin dinner for $9. So, I yeah. mean, you get a, a steak and, and a baked potato and a salad and a free appetizer for maybe a, you know, a 6 $7 donation. What could be better than that? I was there last week with my wife, and the lady said, uh, well, you got to meet this guy, Ray Henningsen. He does the school supply drive, and she handed me the flyer. I said, well, I happen to know him, so thank yes. you for giving that to me. And we go there sometimes once a week, maybe once every other week, whatever. We're going to find a way to be there. Yeah. Okay? We, we go Probably there the Wednesday night. All too often, I think. Yeah. Um, my daughter's boyfriend is a server there. Uh, one of my daughter's friends is a server there. So we spend a little bit of time there, sometimes too much. Um, but, you know, this is for a very good cause, and we hope to raise um, more school supplies. And, you know, you can get these things at Walmart, Dollar Tree, CVS, Staples, Office Max, all the office supply stores um, have school supplies. So find a coupon, put together a pack, and you can even get a free appetizer to go along with yeah. it. Yeah, and their so, fried pickles are great. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, Ray, you're a giving person. You like to give, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, did you bring us anything today? I did. I okay, did. I see you got a so, little parcel down there. For you, since you are a school committee member in Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical School, on behalf of myself and Whitney Building Products in Boston, Mass, okay. we're donating to you and, well, donating to Southeastern. These are two professional, um, I'm not a construction guy, so I don't know a lot. Okay. These are angle grinders, and they're used to grind metal. They're used to, in, wow. in metal shop, uh, they're used with concrete. Uh, and these are, are, are you know, very, very high-end um, tools uh, that the kids can use, and it won't break. And Well, I know it'll go to good use. I couldn't tell you what to do with it. I'm just on the school committee, but I know all the different shops <laughs> that we have over there, they'll put it to good use, so yeah. thank you. I know you wear glasses, because it's obviously safety first, and you'll see sparks flying. I've seen it on TV used, but you know, I'm an accountant, so I'm certainly not a construction guy, but you know, when I went, came to my boss and I said, how can we help, you know, um, not just, you know, elementary school kids, but Southeastern is, we have a lot 62 of- 62% from Brockton. From Brockton, and you With know, the, for me, this is about helping Brockton kids, and these will go a long way to do that and give them the tools to learn this trade. Um, it's not an easy trade. Um, I, you know, it's a concrete business that I work in, but these are also used in metal shop and metal woodwork, uh, metal work. We, so. we have all of that there. If you saw the holiday parade, you saw the Santa sleigh that our kids made out of an old trailer. Yeah, which it's is unbelievable. Amazing. So thank you. I'll bring it over. And you Absolutely. know the drill. It gets accepted in, by the school committee, so I, I get to bring a gift with me to the next. That's meeting. right. Okay, and I'll let you know when that is. Maybe you can join me. I would love to. Okay. I would love to. Thank you, Ray. Happy and to uh, help. Make sure um, you give back. Um, the school supply drive that Ray is doing goes through the end of August. All you got to do is drop off the supplies at 305 Belair Street. If there's a lot of supplies, and you, he'll come to you. Phone number is 508-208-6747, which is his cell phone. And, of course, you can find him on Facebook. If, you, if you're seeing this before the end of August, 17th and 18th, Texas Roadhouse, uh, Wednesday before 6, and uh, you donate the stuff on the list, you can get a free appetizer. Not a bad deal. So uh, thanks for doing what you're doing. Happy to help. Thanks, Ray. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.